So, Cosmos, the little UFO, some would say the outcast of the Autobots, I've always loved him, but I was never able to get my hands on the legacy version that came out last year. So, I went looking, and I found the old Combiner Wars version, which is what I'm going to be taking a look at today. So, today, we're taking a look at the Combiner Wars Legends class Cosmos. Starting off in Cosmos' UFO mode, Cosmos turns into, well, a flat UFO. It's more of a modern UFO, not a big, bulky, alien-looking one. But I really like how it looks. I like the sleekness of the design and how it actually captures him going all the way around. I love how the little cockpit section is with its window which is split into like three different windows i like how that looks I like the tail fin at the back and how it goes straight up and it's surrounded by the two little thrusters and i like how they got the red dot of the ufo from his head by just pushing down the head as i know the legacy version just flips the panel as it doesn't make it go up and down but with how that thing's engineered i'm not surprised I like how they kept in his two little yellow arrow things at the front. That's a detail Cosmos has always had, but I'm just happy they've kept it here. The only thing that does annoy me about him a bit is his hinges on the side are yellow, when I really wish they were green, as they would have like made it look a little more consistent. But they are that way for robot mode, I guess, so it's... It's something I can look past. This guy is just really nice and compact. And you don't really see any gaps unless you look at the bottom. Which is really nice. Sure, there's two little gaps up the top, but you don't really notice them. So it's just nice that he's a really solid, non-gappy boy. But hey, Cosmos looks really good in your UFO mode, so I just had to get some pictures. So here they are. Transformation on Cosmos is really nice and satisfying. I like how everything just unfolds and goes into place. And the little waist rotation he has, which is really nice. I like that they engineered it in there, so he had to have one. It's all really nice. And by the end of it, you get a nice angular looking figure. Here we are in robot mode, and Cosmos looks so good. I really love how he looks here. He's nice and sharp and angular everywhere. It's a really nice look for him. But starting off, we'll go up to his head. And that head looks just like Cosmos' head from G1. There's not really much difference to it here than other things would have. Mine is a little scuffed up, but you can't really notice it from a glance. I just really like how it looks. I like how his head is a different color from his body. It's like a nice color breakup. It's just really nice. I like how round it is. But moving down to his body. His body looks really good. I'm used to the chunky look he has in G1 and his legacy toy. But this one here gave him more of a, I'd say, heroic body posture. With it going down into like a V type shape thing. He looks really nice with it. I like all the little details he got, like the windows are carried over from vehicle mode. And how the waist has like these blue highlights and the yellow. It looks really nice. I like how the arms look with their tall shoulders. And having the yellow inset to the green, it looks really nice. I just wish the, uh, the hands were like a different color. As I know his hands are green, but the way they're here kind of makes him blend in a little bit. But that's probably just an issue I have. I like his Autobot badge on his shoulder. I do wish it was white outlined, but I, it looks good here. It's a nice color red. I just, 
I really do just wish I had the white lining around it. And finally, moving down to his legs, they look really nice. They have the sharp and angular look that the rest of him has. He has these guns on his knees, which I just find adorable. They're really nice. And he's got massive feet, so he's got no problem standing up whatsoever. But he looks really good all together. Like, even going around to his back, it's nice and clean. No, no kibble there. But yeah, Cosmos is just a nice little figure. Posability on Cosmos is really nice for the time. Sign off, he has a swivel at the head. His arms pull a full 360 around and co can go up just like about 40 or 50 degrees. It is on a ball joint so you can get some more of your fiddle. Elbows hinge back and forth. Or well, biceps hinge back and forth. There's a elbow swivel and a uh, like 90 bend at the elbow. There's a waist swivel on the transformation hinge. The legs go uh, unimpeded in all directions. There's a knee swivel. Really deep knees as well. And and there's a chin uh, bend as well for transformation. Also, the waist can hinge back. So no accessories with this release of Cosmos. But he looks so good that I had to put him some poses. So here they are. This has been the review for the Transformers Prime Wars Trilogy Titans Return Legends Class Cosmos. Tell me what do you think of this figure? Do you like him? Do you have him? Or did you skip him entirely? Personally, I'm really happy that I got him. Sure, I do want the Legacy version, but this one is a nice fill-in if I never get that one. I'm pretty sure I called him the Combiner Wars one early in the scripts, but I can't remember. Now, from what I know, this is also the Thrilling 30s Cosmos, which did have an accessory, but since this is the Times Return one, he didn't really have one. And I got him second hand, so if he did have one, it was gone. But anyway, tell me what do you think. Thanks for watching.